Hi everyone, my name is Jason. Today I'm going to cover how to do a 3D planning in a Kaho that helps you to find the uh, signal breeding happening between multiple floors and how to plan that uh, properly. So uh, this is one of the critical item if you are uh, planning uh, with uh, multiple floors and this this can help you to identify the AP location that uh, that can avoid the interference happening from multiple floors. So uh, I'll start with adding a building. So for this particular training session, I added three floors here. That is floor one, two, three. Then I'm going to add these floors as a building. Uh, to add a building, we can um, we have to use this building uh, tab. So here you can add a building uh, clicking on this button. So you can select all the required uh, floors here. You can select all of them, uh, or you can choose whatever you want to add it in that particular building then uh, once you add this uh, floors the next thing is to do an alignment of these floors so as you can see here uh, all these floors are uh, showing as a warning saying that that alignment is not done yet so uh, first thing we have to do is uh, alignment and for doing an alignment you have to give uh, three alignment locations in uh, one plan one floor sorry so uh, here I'm going to add uh, alignments for floor one and to add a floor uh, alignment you have to use this button after clicking on this one you can add this alignments uh, you you try to find out some uh, specific location that you can add it as a uh, alignment uh, repeated ones uh, basically you can go with the lift area or some kind of pillars in this uh, floor map uh, so it depends you can you can use any three points that you can uh, do it as an alignment point minimum is the three you can add more if you want but uh, minimum you have to give three so here I'm going to use uh, this particular pillar as uh, first alignment okay alignment point one is added then I'll add uh, second alignment on this pillar then third one uh, somewhere yeah in the corner okay so I'm done with uh, adding three points in floor one I will repeat the same thing for floor two let me select same alignment points alignment one two three when I do this you can see uh, these alignments are uh, coming as uh, okay here because uh, this one is not done uh, the alignment is not done here so that's why it's still showing with that uh, warning status so I'll uh, do the floor 3 same locations basically I'm using same floor plan here so that you will not have any confusion or something but it will not be same for your actual projects and all so now I, I done this alignments and you can see here uh, 3d status is okay you can see that status is changed to green so uh, once we are done with this you have to uh, prepare the uh, floors uh, it can be done before or after so here uh, my total height of our uh, per floor is uh, I'm just going to set 10 feet 10 feet 10 feet okay so uh, and uh, next one is uh, what is the uh, DB low is going to happen on your floor uh, that you can select here depends on your uh, your country or your region you can uh, select whatever you want so uh, I'll uh, go with the default uh, value you can you can add uh, anything here uh, by default it's, we have multiple options you can either select this or you can ignore that um, you can um, sorry not ignore you can add the right value for you next thing um, how, how to uh, use this because you now you did the uh, building and uh, building name and all you can say uh, okay in the building in the okay uh, I'm just giving a name so uh, here uh, next thing is how this one is going to help you in the planning phase so let me uh, select floor 2 and add an AP into this so that you will get an uh, idea how, how this one is going to help you in the uh, planning so let me add one AP in the middle and uh, show you how this one is going to help you in the planning phase okay
okay so here you can see this AP is serving okay uh, I think uh, this AP is serving this particular floor I'm not worried about how this one is going to serve and uh, we don't have any wall types marked here coverage walls and all because we are not covering that in this section that is already covered in different one so here uh, I'll just show you this AP is added on second floor and how that is uh, reflecting on the uh, floor one so uh, so right now this particular AP is bleeding between floors and you can see that bleeding happening to the ground uh, first floor from second and in third floor you can see uh, different behavior here so as you can see um, this AP 3800 is having a different pattern so let me try to add a 3700 here okay so this is 3700 so you can see this uh, this coverage is different because it depends on the uh, platform that coverage uh, is going to bleed between building will change so Akaho will give a, a graphical interpretation of uh, this kind of bleeding happening in the building so uh, let me go back to uh, 3700 is uh, used here so this is how uh, it will show you how this one is going to help uh, in the planning phase and based on this you have to plan your AP locations so this this is the uh, biggest advantage of this one so what you can do is uh, if you are going to put 3700 APs like this just an example I'm giving here so I'm adding four access points in second floor uh, sorry five then uh, this is the signal strength you are getting it in uh, in first floor uh, bleeding is happening here and in uh, top floor uh, in the third floor you are getting like this so you have to control this this is the that's the best I uh, like that's the biggest advantage of planning this so let me uh, try to arrange uh, this AP so let me remove this so that I can I can uh, show you how to So uh, I'm not going to use uh, this much power uh, in 2.4. I'm going to use 3.13, uh, uh, and uh, my height is going to be 10 feet. Okay. Then uh, in 5 gigahertz, I'm going to put 12.5 milliwatt with uh, 10 feet ceiling height. Then um, now uh, let me go to my second floor and add more APs here okay now we are done with this this part and in second floor we added five APs and you can see in uh, third floor also you are getting same kind of coverage with five APs and uh, in uh, first floor also you are getting some kind of coverage so you have to uh, make sure this alignment and building size is very small that's why we are uh, getting this and we don't have any uh, any uh, walls marked here so this is how uh, Akaho will help you in identifying signal bleeding happening between multiple floors uh, so uh, hope uh, this one helps you uh, to find out uh, how to do the uh, planning in proper way with uh, building 3d uh, planning in a cow thank you for watching